Good afternoon. It's time for our daily devotion. Stuff God said and wants us to keep on saying. Uh, for today's devotion, I'm going to read from 1 Peter, the second chapter and the ninth verse. Hear the word of the Lord. You are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, God's own special people, that you may proclaim the praises of of God who called you out of darkness and into God's own marvelous light. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading of the word. I remember hearing a story once uh, about a, uh, a group of school children who were at Disney World. And uh, they were in this uh, special place in part of the castle, Magic Castle or whatever. And uh, Cinderella walked into this room where all these little kids were standing. Oh man, these little kids were going crazy. They were, they were Cinderella and they all ran, all kind of went around her. They wanted Cinderella to see them. They wanted to be touched by Cinderella, to, to be close to Cinderella, to be recognized by Cinderella, to be special to Cinderella. And as they were there and they were all uh, jumping around and uh, uh, laughing and couldn't, it just had this joy about them. Cinderella noticed that there was one little boy that was standing way off to the side. He had a cleft palate and he was on crutches. Well, he couldn't get up there that fast to even get close to Cinderella. And maybe he didn't feel special enough anyway because he wasn't even trying. And Cinderella pushed her way through the rest of the children who were there and she went over to that little boy she kneeled down, she kissed him on the forehead, and this little kid shone brighter than any star that was in the heavens because Cinderella recognized and threw her arms around him. And, uh, and it reminds us, this is the way that God has chosen us. You know, we're, we're, we're not in a strong man's contest like being uh, in an Iron Man contest. We're not in a beauty pageant to see who's the prettiest, the most handsomest. We're not in the final ran, round <laughs> of championship jeopardy to show which one of us is the smartest. God doesn't choose us that way. God chooses us just as we are, with our cleft palates, with our sins, with our good things, with our bad things. God comes down and kneels before us. Now that's amazing. Because that's what the cross was, God kneeling before us to tell us that we're a royal priesthood, that we are separated for a very special, special relationship to God, just as who we are. And that, to me, brings a lot of joy and a lot of peace. That's my thought, and that's my devotion for today. Amen.